Hey, good afternoon you beautiful people. I am just another sim guy. Um, I've been asked quite a lot recently about my Assetto Corsa settings, um, PP filter. So um, yeah, I've managed to get the game looking pretty realistic, uh, I think, in VR. Um, pushing sort of performance as far as I can, trying to minimise stutters, skips. Um, keep the frame rate smooth, even with rain, even with night, even with night and rain. Um, you know, I've I've doled down a few of the colours, trying to get it looking a little bit less sort of saturated. Um, I really like it. Um, everybody's PC is different, um, and obviously I'm on VR in a Quest 3 using a link cable, so that's going to be different for some people. But you know, if this helps just one person for the sake of five minutes of of my morning, then uh, this is well worthwhile. It will change. I may update it, um, but for now, this is this is what I'm working with. Um, so first of all, on the screen, you'll see my PC specs, uh, my graphics card, processor, what sort of memory I'm working with. Um, I don't overclock anything. If anybody's got any ideas on uh, maximizing, you know, performance here, and there's any tweaks that I can make, then uh, I'm all ears. So do drop me a comment or or a direct message. Um, but yeah, so pretty pretty powerful. Not the best of the best, but um, you know, certainly not a potato PC. So I get some pretty good, uh, pretty good performance out of that. Um, so now moving on to the settings I use in my Quest Three. Um, I use uh, the seventy-two hertz refresh this is across all games but I leave it like this on um, AC and I do maximize that um, rendering resolution slider all the way to the right hand side now this gets me very stable performance I do up it to 80 90 at times that gets me really stable performance um, like I say when I'm using night and stuff um, and different effects like rain now in the general settings uh, I read somewhere that OpenXR runtime um, to have that setting where it is uh, can be beneficial. Um, I haven't really tested it with and without um, that setting, but you know, have a play, see what you get on, see what you get up to. Um, now there are some really nice settings here in the uh, Oculus Debug tool, um, maximizing the resolution to 1.2. I do sometimes put 1.3 as well. Um, asynchronous space warp this being disabled some of these you know some of these settings you do have to change every time you open this up um, before you play uh, so it can get a bit annoying but definitely worth having a look at particularly with the um, the bitrate uh, being 960 uh, then on to content manager itself I've just downloaded the latest version um, I'm on the preview the paid you know one one pound uh, a month which gets you the rain and stuff I think it's great value for money you can subscribe to it get the update uh, turn off renewing it and then renew it again when there's another update if you want to be cheeky but uh, I don't mind paying it it's good value um, I've left a link in my profile to download these settings if you want to try them but there's two places to look there's the um, a set of course video tab uh, you'll see I've got quite high settings across the board here um, and I'm using um, that PP filter is photo real and it's one that I've recently tried but I do use pure VR quite a lot as well um, feel free to pause it note these down try it or just hit the link in my profile and you can download that and in, it will just install all the settings um, and then under uh, content uh, custom shader patch itself um, many many tabs here to work through again if you've got a similar spec to me and you want to try what I use um, just click the link download it and then play from there there's lots and lots of really long tutorials on YouTube um, to get the best out of these settings each one of these tabs has multiple sliders and number values to play with it's an absolute sort of uh, tweakers dream to just play with this but you know you have to sort of see what specs you've got, monitor the performance, monitor your frame rate. Uh, it's quite good that a set of course has got a nice little frame rate counter in there. So after your race, you can go look at that. Um, but yeah, just have a look and see how you get on. Download my file. Um, 
I've been playing with this for a long time and every time there's an update there seems to be something else to tweak but you know from what I can tell um, I've got this looking pretty good but if you've got any ideas and uh, want to share anything with me then by all means put me a comment if there's something specific I can help with uh, I'm no expert but you know having played and found stuff for months and months and months I might be able to point you in the direction of a video that I've watched that helped me um, so uh, yeah I've been just another sim guy you've been great please do like subscribe share if this has helped and pop me any questions I'll do what I can to get you racing take care bye bye